yeah, the raccoons broke this, but it's it's working pretty good. Um, so here's the run, and they have access to free range, so they're only in here, you know, they're not in here 24-7. But what I want to show you is, number one, there's no smell, smell. Number two, see the dry patches? This is a foot thick of wood chips sitting on concrete and the high hot nitrogen from the chicken poop is offset by the high carbon of the wood chips. The size of the chips contributes to aerobic conditions. Let me dig down and show you what's under here. Should, I should be using a shovel, but I don't mind. So you'll see bits of white. See that white line right there? That's fungi. That's what sequesters carbon, etc. I put this under a microscope. Yeah, there's some more. There's some more fungi. It smells like mushrooms because, you know, it smells like the forest floor in here. Oh my God, I wish we had smell of vision. If your chicken coop stinks, your chickens are not going to be as healthy as they could be. Okay, that's concrete right there. So it's gone down six inches, as you can see. It's about that deep now. So that's about six inches. It was about a foot when I put it in. So I clean this twice a year. Once in the fall, once in the spring, it's about ready to go out. The spring goes on <clears throat> flowers and especially my roses, but it goes on flowers and <clears throat> um, uh, ornamental beds. And then the, uh, the fall one goes on the vegetable garden. Uh, and then that grows microbes over the winter. I also use cover crops. Speaking of cover crops, um, these are peas that were just dropped on the surface because I will throw their scratch in. Let's see if their roots are colonized. And what that means is that, let's see. So, yeah, a little bit. Not as much as I'd like to see. I have another video of seedlings I started in the house that has microbial colonization. Um, yeah, no smells, healthy chickens, never had mites, never had anything. I don't use any poison. Um, I took them off of all grains. I used to use an organic laying mesh. Now I, uh, give them the same thing I give my, um, doves, which <laughs> they're all waiting to go out. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but anyway, I mixed it and they would just leave the uh, pellets alone. They won't even touch them. So they know best. And as you can see, they're very healthy and happy. Pretty girls. These were retirees that were given to me because they don't lay anymore. And I was okay with that because I just wanted to produce the poop for my compost and for my bed. So let me take you to the channel and you can watch them come out. It's really fun. <laughs> 